hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, there may be background sounds which there's not a lot I can really do about. I don't have the control over other people that I wish that uh, hypnotists could. Or, you know, you know, in the movies, you know, hypnotists can make everyone do what they want. No. Otherwise I'd be sitting on a chair made of money. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to happen. I just banged the microphone. So... This is going to be a technique, a relaxation technique, that you can use. So it's going to be a short recording, it's not going to be a lot involved. And it's going to be a bit weird, you know that song, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes? It's going to be that. It's not going to be a song, but you are going to say... The names of your body, the names of the body parts rather, to yourself with your eyes closed. Of course you can do this with your eyes open if you want to do so, you know, but don't do it while you're doing something else, you know. If you were sitting, let's say, on a train and you don't want to close your eyes or whatever, you can still do it, but I think it's quite nice to go inwards, so not having the visual distraction, because you'll still have the the background sounds, so you know, if you're on a train, you'll hear the train, you'll hear the people talking, and it, it won't matter, uh, you might hear someone trying to s- slam their door continuously downstairs, doesn't matter. It's annoying, but it's, you know, doesn't have to get in the way of feeling relaxed. Because for me, part of getting more relaxed isn't about laying down and just zonking out completely where every single muscle in your body melts like butter in the sun. Because for two reasons, really. First of all, that isn't... It's important to note that's not the only sign of relaxation. It's a brilliant sign of relaxation. You know, it's it's like, wow. It's a lovely feeling. But we don't have always the option to do that. You may be at work and you have a 15-minute coffee break. Or, you know, you're on your lunch break. You may not have the ability to go home, lie down for half an hour and relax completely. I had a job once years ago where I lived around the corner from the job and that's exactly what I did. I went home and I just, oh, I lay down and I did a, like a body scan and relaxed completely. The only problem with that is I didn't want to go back to work. In fact, I wanted to go to sleep, which wasn't, you know, allowed because I had to go back to work. So it's nice if you can reduce some stress. It's not always about reducing all of the stress. It's just about if you can take the edge off. If you can feel more comfortable more relaxed, maybe more alert. So this is something you can do when perhaps, or any time you want, and you can do it for as long as you want. I mean, the initial uh, the initial stage is a couple of minutes. Maybe a minute. But then, you know, you can then, if you want to repeat the process... You can do that as well. So it is up to you. You're the boss. 
So it really is as simple as naming the parts of your body with your eyes closed. And you say it internally as well. Don't don't need to shout out eyes, shoulders. You know, it's, it's say it, eyes, shoulders. And it could get to the point where you don't even need to, you don't bother with that. You might just focus on the parts of your body. And when you focus on those parts, they'll just automatically release the tension. It just happens. It's one of the, it's a body scan thing. When you, when you scan your body, you, your body automatically relaxes. So it's a meditation technique. And some people will fall asleep, including me, when they do the body scan. So this isn't a recording for sleep. This is to reduce tension or to reduce stress. And the more you do it, the longer you do it, you know, if you keep repeating it for, let's say, 10 minutes, 20 minutes even, chances are you would fall asleep if you did that, especially if you're lying down. But the longer you do it, the more relaxed you become. But what you might find, what you might find is if it's daytime and you're having a, you're in a break from work or you're out for the day with your family and you're just uh, able to have five minutes to yourself. You might be sitting on a toilet, who knows, you know, just a place where you can be on your own if you can get that space. And what you might find is the tension releases really quickly and you don't want to just sit there doing this. You don't really want to feel any more relaxed and you don't want to go to sleep because you actually feel your energy returning the positive energy where you want to get on and do things and enjoy your day with your friends your family or on your own or at work or whatever the situation may be maybe you just want to get back to watching a TV show you're watching or you want to get back to get to the internet or uh, do some housework or do the washing up and whatever. I'm going to stop thinking of scenarios because there's millions, isn't there? Feeding the donkey. Preparing the space shuttle for its next flight. I don't know. It depends what your job is. It depends what you do. What your What your life is, you know. So, I'm going to stop blabbing on, and I'm just going to close my eyes, and I'm going to do it with you. So I'm going to take my glasses off, give my nose a rest. They're not heavy, but it's, sometimes it's nice to just... So if you're wearing glasses, like I wear glasses all day now, and it can feel quite nice to close my eyes, take the glasses off first, close my eyes. And at the moment I'm wiggling my nose about. When I say wiggling, I mean it's not going all over the place. I'm not, I haven't got a double jointed nose. But it's not as cute as Bewitched. You remember the Bewitched where she don't little little little. Um, no, but it's nice to sometimes I find even to just stretch your jaw a bit, raise your eyebrows, and that's before you even start the body scan, before you even start focusing on the different parts of your body. Sometimes it's nice just to raise your shoulders and just. Hold them there for a couple of seconds and just let them drop. Or tense in your thigh muscles for a couple of seconds and just let them go. Or your arms and, you know, things like that. I mean, they're, they're different 
relaxation techniques in their own sense anyway. So I'm sitting in a chair, I've got my eyes closed, so I'm just going to focus on the different parts of my body. So first of all I'm going to focus on my face, so that entails the forehead, eyes, jaw, nose, ears, whatever else you've got on your face, it's just that area. So face, neck, back of your neck, your throat, and the sides of your neck as well. And the neck's a really important part of your body, which if you ever have, um, if you've ever had problems with your neck or maybe like whiplash or even just slept a bit weird, you realise how important the neck is, you know. And it's holding this heavy, heavy head. Heads are very heavy. And it's holding that up all the time, supporting your head. The neck is amazing. It's, it's, your, it's one of your best friends, your neck. And then you can focus on your shoulders, arms, hands, fingers chest, stomach, back, so you can move from the top of, you know, pretty much the top of your neck, the back of your neck and then all the way down either side of your spine, so you've got that area which is sort of near your shoulder blades I guess, and then you've got the middle of your back and then you've got your lower back, and then you've got that area between your actual uh, your body and your legs the hips where your buttocks, your groin so just focus on that area and then you're down to your legs feet and toes so it's only a few bits it's, it's quite quick but as you focus on those parts, starting from one, you know, the face, and I guess each part has its own components. So your forehead, eyes, jaw, mouth, tongue, ears, you know, it's all kind of done at the same time so you can just say the word face then neck shoulders arms hands and fingers chest stomach back, hips, legs, feet and toes. And when you say it, when you say the different parts of your body say them gently so when you say face say it as almost as if you were talking to a small child like face 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 and it might sound a bit strange, like why would I say it like that, but the gentler and the softer you say it, you, you get a response, a physical and emotional response by being gentle. 
because you're not commanding your face to relax. In fact, you're not even asking your face to relax. You're just focusing on your face. And your neck. Just say neck. Gently. Shoulders. Arms. Hands and fingers. Focusing on each of those things that you say to yourself. Chest. Stomach. Back. Feet and toes, face, neck, shoulders, arms, hands and fingers, chest and stomach, back. Legs, feet, and toes. Now I'd like you to say the word and the name of the different parts of your body with an out breath. So it's face. And that's, that's the process. Now you may choose to say it out loud if you're on your own. Saying the words with your out breath. It's up to you. Now I'm feeling way more relaxed. Even though there was background sounds from downstairs. Still feeling a sense of relaxation, but also kind of a, a bit of energy as well. Positive energy is there 
within me. Hmm, that was quite nice. So that's it. Just test it out, see how you get on. I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. I'll speak to you very soon. And remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.